Hello lovely butterflies, it's France. Welcome to this journal on Monday, week 149. I wanted to start painting with this color from the chalky finish, but it didn't want to come out of the bottle, so I had to help a little bit. But now that I got it, I can start applying it with a sponge over my rock formation stencil. This is the large version of my stencil. I quickly set it with my heat gun and now I can apply the second layer, which is some crackle medium. And I'm just applying it all over the area where I have the brown paint going on. I'm going to leave that to dry, just leaving that corner of my journal by itself, not touching it anymore. And meanwhile, I'm working on the other sides with my Derwent Intense pencils just to apply some very soft background color. So I'm just scratching some color on the paper, checking that I have the right color that I want to use. And once I have enough color on the paper, I will use some water to gently blend it. Today's video is 14 minutes long. It took me a little bit more than an hour to get the whole spread done. And it's a bit different than usually in that sense that I started my video, my camera, and I filmed the whole video in one go. I did have to um, stop the camera just once um, because someone was at the door. But other than that, I didn't interrupt the movement and I just kept going. And you will see the result at the end. It's a very soft um, spread that came out of it. Next up, I just want to keep on using those pencils, but this time I'm doing it over my rock, uh, no, my rusted rivets uh, stencil. Um, it's not going to give me a very precise and uh, neat shape, but that's not the point. I just want to add some accents uh, here and there. To add some stamping, I picked out a couple of my stamps. This one is from my Rock and Rust Illusionary Artist stamp set. And I'm stamping with grey memento ink, just to keep it as soft as the rest of the spread. And this is a text stamp from my London, New York stamp set. So I'm checking if the crackle medium is dry. And I'm going to go uh, still on the other side of the paper, still not on the crackle medium. Uh, with some premium acrylic, which is a thicker acrylic, just using a brayer to push that color, that soft color, even more in the background. And now that my crackle medium is dry enough, I'm going to use that same brayer to apply some chalky finish over the crackle medium. So that will give me a very uneven crackled something. To soften down that brown and make it work with the rest of the spread, which is very soft, I'm going over it with that same uh, white premium acrylic, but I need my brayer to be a bit more clean to do that. Otherwise my white is just, it's just going to turn into a brownish mud. And this way I can start making everything work together. And yes, the premium acrylic will have some 
uh, cracks as well when it's put over the um, crackle medium. I'm repeating the process with the pencils, just adding accents here and there and then blending it with some water. To add some more vibrant accents, I'm going in with a pinkish chalky finish, but I'm just applying it uh, in a very soft way using my palette knife. And to give the spread a bit of an edge so that the eye remains on the paper I'm using the black chalky finish and I'm applying it in the same way as I did with the pinkish one. Of course I need to add some rusty accents, so I'm still doing that using my Durant Intense pencils, combining two uh, soft brown colors.
I want to keep my focal point as soft as the rest of the spread. So I'm just using some cambric and a word sticker and assembling those on the page. Just to make the words um, pop from the rest of the background, I just give them a little bit of uh, black distress ink on the edge so that it just doesn't melt away in the background. The pink that I have on the spread is still too harsh to my liking, so I'm pushing it into the background using the same wide premium acrylic paint and just dabbing it on with a sponge. Now, if you would like a more extended version of this video where I explain why I do the things the way I do them, and I'm not just talking about techniques, but also like the deep meaning of art channeling, or if you would like to do weekly uh, hangouts with me where we do all kinds of stuff. Um, we just made a storage box completely from scrap, from scratch <laughs> and from scrap. Um, there is also the monthly live journal with me session. Um, well, I can only invite you to check out my Patreon page because that's where all these are um, available for you. The link to my Patreon page is in the description of this video, as are all the links to the products that I've been using here. Going back in with my Dorant Intense Pencil, I'm adding some written journaling as well, then blending it with a little bit of water and dabbing away as much of the water as possible because I still want this journaling to be very, very soft, as soft as the rest of the spread. Last thing I have to do is to add my date stamp. And again, I want it to be as soft as the rest of the spread. So once more, go, going back in with some premium acrylic. That's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If so, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click on the little bell to receive notifications and community messages. And I will see you here back next time. Ta-da!